Alrighty, I know. Not everyone is going to like this one. Does meditation help feeling it real? Do I need to meditate to feel it real? What about meditation for feeling it real? You know, I meditate on my desires for 44 minutes, Mr. 20. How else can I feel it real? I was looking through the emails this morning. I typed in the word meditate and meditation. By the way, I have nothing against it. All right? If you want to meditate, if you want to take a walk in the woods, if you want to meditate or walk in the woods naked, if you want to meditate or walk in the woods with a friend and wear something purple, I don't care. I think I've done all three of those. Four of those. Six of those. <laughs> Depends how we slice the pie, doesn't it? Ah... Uh. Here's the thing. Meditation's lovely, isn't it? Back in the old country, I used to enjoy watching my grandkiddo play with her friends. It was lovely. There was a guy that used to sit next to me on the bench. Let's just call him Dreadful Danny. Dreadful Danny. What a name. And Dreadful Danny would watch his grandkiddo play. And he'd talk about what a horrible world they were growing up into. And I noticed his grandkiddo didn't like to come back to him. Mine did. I'd say, hey, honey, come here. Yeah, what's up, pappy? He'd say, I just want to say I love you. All right, go play. His kids you know, would hate to come back, to, or grandkids, sorry, would hate to come back to him. Dreadful Danny. It's what he felt. It's what he spoke. It's what he used. You could see it in his skin, for God's sake. Dreadful Danny. Always protecting himself from the elements. Dreadful Danny. Meanwhile, one day a lady suggested he take up meditation. And he says, no, 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 I don't have time for that. So we talk and Dreadful Danny, you know, he uh, drinks Jack Daniels. I'm not a fan of Jack Daniels personally. It just doesn't do me. But meanwhile, ah. Uh, I enjoy a good single malt. I had some with my buddy Mal. We smoked cigars the other day. Usually on my Sunday afternoon here, uh, we each take about an hour, hour and a half, and just smoke and chat about nothing and everything. Nothing to do with this stuff. It's it's called downtime. But you see, it doesn't give life to anything. It doesn't cause anything to happen. I'm having a good time with my buddy. I used to meditate. I don't anymore. I've lost the uh, interest in it. Let me give you, give you a hint, you guys that love meditating. There comes a point where you realize you're not seeking. Stop seeking the silence between the thoughts. You are the silence that all the thoughts, all the thinking, all the emotions are within. You're the silence that hears the sound of my voice. You don't have to listen for the space between each word. And it's just the same on your inner experience. Now, here's what's cool. If you want to meditate, enjoy. If you want to light a candle, enjoy. I've got one on my little table outside right now. It's lovely. It's shining through the uh, light. Maybe I'll take a photo of it. It's shining through the window. The window's got a bunch of that crinkly glass in it. You know, it just busts things up, makes it look cool. But you see, that doesn't cause anything. It's a candle. See, Neville Goddard taught you are the operant power. It doesn't operate itself. He taught you are the power. He taught awareness of being is God. Consciousness is the only reality. I'm a massive fan of noticing what everyone has done all the time, because that's what Neville taught. You're doing it all the time anyway. You might as well learn how to do it consciously, knowingly, and have fun with it. So here's the thing. Here's how fast it works. Victoria sees the mustard. I've talked about this before. She sees the mustard. An exclusive mustard. Oh my. With a lovely label. Oh my. Three different varieties. Oh my. And I watch. She sees the mustard. Seeing it with her eyes causes nothing to happen. 
Now, she doesn't drop into a trance. She doesn't go into a deep meditation. She just sort of slows down for a minute. We could call it pondering. But it's in that slowing down where she begins to experience mustard. Mustard. And she gets all three. Right? There's three varieties. She gets all three. I love mustard, by the way. She didn't need to meditate for an hour. Here's the thing. If you think you need to meditate for an hour to get some wishes, but not others. If you go, well, the mustard doesn't count, Mr. 20, she would have bought it anyway. Yep, Neville says that that'll always pop up. Dr. Brian, he put up uh, a post today in the Law of Attraction by Neville Goddard Group. And he basically says, watch these people. And he gives a list of people. Sizzle. Ego. Right? And he goes, yeah, he gives a list of like four people. And here's a hint, guys. And it is a crass commercial. They're all dream-driven day people. Dr. Brian is too. So is his wife. Dr. Brian's done it twice. Once with her, once without her. How cool is that? But she still gets the ripples. See, I want you to get how cool this is. Because... When you get play is the way, when you get, this is not about an explanation. See, if you study, if you settle for my explanation in the podcast, you've missed it. I am always here just inviting you to explore. In the podcasts, there's a lot you can explore. In the courses, there's even more. In the courses, we actually uh, methodize things. We systemize things. Right? We put things in a very specific order. For a very specific reason. If you're going to go from Pittsburgh to Portland, that works. On the other hand, if you just want to throw a bunch of shit on the wall, go to Reddit. <laughs> All right, good lord. A lot of experts out there. I had an expert email me yesterday, and I wrote back. And I said, have you listened to Neville's, you know, apparently he's listened to all of Neville's lectures. And I said, all right, have you listened to God's Purpose? Because that would be a good one for you. He's like, No. Right. All right. <laughs> and he wrote some mean sounding things, but it's like, radio dude, listen. If you're not getting gold from me, that's fine. I don't care. Go get gold someplace. But here's the number one thing that will make sure you don't get any gold anywhere. Ready? I already know that. I'm already doing that. I'm doing it my way. Those three little ones. Oh my God. Yeah, Mr. 20, I already know that. All right. I was a second degree black belt hearing that from seven year olds. It's like, hey buddy, just experiment a little bit with me. And then the light bulb comes on because they realize they knew about it. They didn't know that, right? Here's the other one. I'm already doing that. I say, all right. See, I, I ask, are you doing my Joseph Goddard method? Yeah, every day, most days, some days, once in a while. Cool. Well, you're not doing it if you're doing it once in a while, but tell me exactly what you're doing. Now you're not doing it. Go read this. Go listen to that. I already know that. I'm already doing that. All right. <laughs> and here's the third one. Ready? I'm doing it my way. You can do that. Right, I know people that mix coffee grounds in with their bread recipe. 